Praise the name of the Lord. Welcome once again as we hear the word of the Lord. Allow us to pray so that we can move on. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you for giving us another chance that we may hear from you. Lord, we pray the Lord this word will have a place in our hearts that we are going to do in accordance to your will. I am standing here, O oh God. I pray that you may use me as a vessel, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. There is none like you. In Jesus' name, amen. We are talking about the beauty of goodness. We are basing our scripture from the book of Acts chapter 9, from verse number 36 to 43. I am going to read. The Bible says, At Joppa, there was a certain disciple named Tabitha, which is translated Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and charitable deeds, which she did. But it happened in those days that she became sick and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. And since Lida <coughs> was near Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent two men to him, imploring him not to delay in coming to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him to the upper room. And all the widows stood by, by him weeping, showing the tunics and garments which Dorcas had made while she was with them. But Peter put them all out and knelt down and prayed. And turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes and she saw Peter. And she saw Peter. She sat up. When he gave her his hand and lifted her up, and when he had called the saints and widows, he presented her alive. And it became known throughout all Joppa, and many believed on the Lord. So it was that he stayed many days in Joppa with Simon Peter a Tana. We are talking about the beauty of goodness, and there is beauty in doing good. The acts of selfishness are very evident in the church today. People no longer bear other people's burdens. The term of dada nakaka wakanisa, that is a term long gone. People no longer have the burden of other Christians. And uh, somebody said that uh, in Africa, Christianity is very long but very shallow. And Christians are the only soldiers that wounds their own soldiers. And we have been taught about the beauty of goodness from the book of Acts chapter 9 from verse number 36 to 43. You know, uh, apart from the disciples of Jesus that are known, the 12 disciples, the other person who is referred as the disciple of Jesus Christ is Tabitha. This is, was because of her good works, because of her charitable works. And this is a lady that we can emulate as a church, as an individual, about the beauty of doing good. Number one, as we talk about uh, the beauty of goodness, God is still working in people's lives if they only practice goodness. What moved the heart of God? And uh, Tabitha was able to regain back her life was because of just simple things, simple act of kindness. And this is the heart of goodness. And Peter, having heard about this disciple of Jesus Christ, he never hesitated to go and go and help this person by the name Tabitha. This was because of her charitable deeds. Allow me to tell you something, that the actions that you do today will speak on your behalf someday when you will not be in a position to speak on your behalf. There are things you are going today and they are going to speak on your behalf someday. And therefore, 
be good and just do good. Number two, when God is in it, he will be glorified. Today we do our actions to be praised by our fellow Christians. We do things to be praised by our fellow uh, family members. We have found ourselves doing good to please men. But have you ever asked yourself if the actions you do are meant to please the Lord? Because when you, heart, you, you, you touch the heart of God, you touch the heart of men. And therefore, Tabitha was not doing these actions to please men. But he was doing the action of goodness to please the name of the Lord. And when you do actions to please the Lord, you will never count the cost. You can go beyond what you have. The actions of Tabitha never glorified her name. Her working towards helping poor people, the less fortunate, was meant to glorify the name of the Lord. I know you have seen even people, even in the church today, that simply because their names are not glorified, then there is nothing they can do in the house of the Father. But I tell you, in the house of God, when you do actions in secret, God reveals them in the light. And therefore continue doing good without expecting anything in return. Jesus Christ coming from heaven to earth because of you and I, was not meant to glorify himself, but to glorify the name of the Father. And therefore, even for us today, in our acts of goodness, let us be determined to please the Lord. The reason as to why people become tired in serving the Lord, it is because we have shifted from serving God and we are serving people. But serve the Lord. Serve God and you'll never be tired. Serve God who encourages. You know, Moses became tired because he shifted his line of calling and started serving people. But I'm calling upon you to serve God and you will never be tired. The moment you serve God, he renews your strength. You go beyond the cause. Praise the name of the living God. Number three. Ministry is about God being glorified to the lost. Ministry is about God being glorified to the lost. Christianity is meaningless if people become selfish and self-sufficient. If today we are a church, we are going to be a church because we are involved in glorifying God to the ministry of the lost. As a church, our work is not to judge others. Our work is to tell people about the goodness of God, about the grace of Jesus Christ, that people may know Christ through us. Unfortunately, the church today is involved in the work of judging souls and not calling them in the house of God. But the moment we are involved in the ministry of glorifying God through calling the lost, then we portray the character of Christ. Christ was involved in the ministry of less fortunate. Christ worked with people who never mattered in the society. Today as Christians, we want to be associated with people with big names. And we have shifted from glorifying God through the less fortunate people. Through reaching out, through missions. If our salvation is active, if we are true people who are served by the grace of God, then we need to desire people to come to this grace. If we talk about the amazing grace, then are we involved in telling people, come to this amazing grace, come and test the Lord, because He is sweet. But today, 
we have a bittersweet to the lost. I pray that God you help us to be slow in judging people but to be very quick in calling them to come and hear the message of the cross. And don't wait for big things to do small things. Tabitha had no singer machine. I'm sure she was using the, the, the two needles. I don't know what they are called. The two needles that this grandmother used to, to make those sweaters. She never had a singer machine. She never had textile industry. Therefore, you have no excuse of not serving the Lord now with the little thing that God has given you. Praise the name of the Lord. And let us not be very active in the skins of frustrating others. Let us be active in the skins of making others people's heart desire the Lord. Can your salvation call people and convict people about the message of Christ? Number four, your goodness will make people know the will of God. Your goodness will make people know the will of God. If we read with you, verse number 40, 42, and it became known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. The act of people believing in the Lord in this case was out of the good deeds of Tabitha to the less fortunate. So when we do good, when we do unmerited good to others, people will come to know our God. And can people like your God? That is the question. Can people admire to serve the God you serve? Do you think your house girl can admire the God you serve. If your house girl cannot give your testimony, if your house girl cannot tell about your salvation, then there is a problem. Praise the name of the Lord. The act of goodness will make people be convicted about the love of God. We are so selfish at some point that nobody even want to be associated with us. But I tell you, the good works made people to know the Lord. So our good works will make people know the Lord. Do not be actively involved in frustrating people. The small things you are supposed to do, just do them. And let me tell you this. The goodness you do today, the acts of goodness that you, you do today, will speak on your behalf tomorrow. Their goodness your children, children will enjoy because of the seed you plant today. Kuna ambayo Tunajibunia leo Sababu ni mbegu ilio pando na wazazi wetu Shiko shia wega Shitire shia toma Ado maga adhenika Shiko shia wega na itomaga Jiaro na jiaro shia nyu Shito idu oze Shikagea na kahida kega Ni matuda maweko maweko makuda ishire uwe moyo and therefore do not be tired in doing good in the house of the Lord and even in the people within the community. The last thing is at some point you may not be able to speak on your behalf. Your actions will speak on your behalf. Tabitha was dead. It was impossible for her to wake up and speak on her behalf. She was helpless. And all she had 
to speak on her behalf are the actions that she did when she was still alive. I am trying to ask myself if today I am the Tabitha of today can my actions move the heart of people to the extent of denying my death? You see these people are holding the tunics that uh, Tabitha used to make what can we hold today if you die? Are we going to remember anything good that you did? Are, you, are we going to remember anything that you did and touched our hearts? Or are we going to celebrate simply because a, a, a block has left our lives? Are we going to post things uh, to portray our happiness because of your demise? Are we going to miss you? If you want to live beyond your grave, touch people's hearts. Empty your life to other people's hearts. That is how you live beyond your grave. Goodness is a seed that germinates. Therefore, there are very many people who will benefit when you are gone. You are children, children. My question today is, what are you doing? Are you limited in doing good? In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Father, thank you. There is none like you. We have learned from your servant Tabitha about the acts of goodness. Lord, may you help us today to follow the action of your disciple Tabitha to humble ourselves to touch people's lives in the name of Jesus. May our action convict sinners to love you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God. There is none like you. In the name of Jesus. We thank you and we bless you. Amen. May God bless you and have a wonderful day.